Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me for today's tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to put together the die set for this wreath box here. It does open up and you can fit a ton of treats in that. So that is what I'm going to be showing you how to make today. And I'm going to try and break it down as much as possible and do it step by step. So let's have a quick look at the die set. Here it is, the Christmas wreath box die set. And you do get all of these accents as well. I have some already cut out ready to go i'm going to be decorating the, the black box with these there so i'm excited to see how that looks afterwards okay so for the cutting guide i'm going to be using red tape so have lots of that available okay so this long strip here you're going to be needing to cut out and um, eight of those so i have four here and four there so i've divided them up into base and the lid and you're going to be needing 12 of these top pieces because we do have some extra ones to add on the top due to how the box is constructed so here is the die for uh, this one you're going to be needing to cut out 12 of those and here is the mat for that die as well so I've cut out uh, four of the patterned paper um, that paper will be listed down below and you're also going to be needing to cut out eight of these ones here now I have added tape to these two and I haven't added tape to these two yet I'm thinking for this demonstration I'm going to use glue because these do curve in a funny sort of way where I would have to snip into the the tape to get it to curve in that sort of manner so I'm going to be using um, wet glue for that one today I'm not too sure how I'm going to demonstrate this when I go to do it on the live um, I'm going to have to think about that and see how it goes. Okay, so I'm going to try and break this down for you as much as possible. So let's start with the lid first. So uh, let me just double check to make sure I have the right ones for the lid. Uh, this is going to be for the base. So I've added my red tape to the outside. This is the right way up and I've added the tape to the outside so everything is prepped and ready to go. These are for my lid. I've got the tape on the other side. Now, I am going to be assembling this in a particular sort of way, so you do have to pay attention to where I put these tabs for the lid and the base. Okay, so I'm going to grab myself four of these half circles with the side tabs on them. Set these aside and move away the base. And grab myself four of these tabs here one two three and four and that is all we're going to be needing to make the lid okay so we're going to be starting off I'm hoping I have enough room here for you guys to see what I'm doing I have here some cosmic shimmer in my little bottle and what we're going to start off with first is making our round so pop this on there there are tiny little nick marks just the top and the bottom there so that is where I'm going to be putting the glue so we're going to be overlapping that section with the glue you can use tape for this as well so make sure make sure you line up everything as neatly as you can right up to those little notch marks the lighting has gone a bit funny in here so I'm hoping I have that lined up. There we go. Right, that is the first one down. So do the same going all the way around. Okay, we've just got the last one now. I'm just going to do a quick dry run to make sure I have this last one in the right place I want these to be lining up perfectly instead of me having to pull this up it can warp this, the whole circle there so I'm happy with that and if you want to at this stage you can do exactly the same thing on the other four of these so then you'll be ready to go with the base when we get to that stage okay so now we have our first circle ready so I'm going to put away this um, glue just for the time being as I said I'm going to be brave and use the glue <clears throat> with the tabs for the inside of the circle now this is the lid so 
To make this a functional box, I'm going to be adding these tabs to the outside and that's going to bend round just like that on the outside. So just, just a quick dry run. That is what that's going to um, create the lid for you. Now for the base, let's pretend this is now the base and I'm going to turn this around. These are going to be popped in on the inside. So these tabs are going to be on the inside. Now that should create enough space for the lid to actually fit over the top. Now there is a, a cool little way of putting this together when you put the lid on, but I will show you all those tips and tricks when we get to it. So for the lid, we're going to put, put these tabs on the outside. So literally just find the most comfortable way for adding these on. So for me, it's lifting up this one, the circle with my right hand and guiding it on with my left hand and just moving it around just like so. There we go. And one thing I actually did forget to do is I forgot to crease. I forgot to crease these. So let's move that aside. So these get bent like that. There we go. Remember to do that first. Okay, so take that backing off. Okay, so we are now going to add a bit of glue just to this section here. I have put that on the outside, but you can pop it on the inside as well. So just join those together. Um, I just want to see what I'm doing here. So I'm just lining up the teeth or well, these tabs. I keep saying that they're teeth, but yeah, they're just tabs. There we go. And then we just do the same thing again. We go, go around using your right hand or your left hand, depends on which one you use. I'm right-handed, so I'm happy to use my right hand for this. There we go, join that together. Don't go too tight so that it's glued at a funny angle so it slopes in like that. We don't want it to do that. As you can see, we kind of want it so that it's straight and if it is angled out, outward slightly, then that's fine too. It will make it a little bit easier for you to get the lid on and off. Okay, so that is half of it done. Let's do the rest of it. I'm gonna speed the next bit up and then we can move on to the inner section. Okay, so that is the top section of the lid done. So we now have this section here, but we're gonna sort that out in a moment. Let's carry on now. So we have here our pieces of card. Now, again, these are going to be, um, let's, let's fold this up so I can demonstrate. Okay, so these are going to go along there again with the tabs on the outside of the box and then you go around and do that so I am actually going to use some glue I'm going to pop a bit of glue just on each tab you can use tape and um, I would add your tape take off the backing and then grab some Tim Holtz scissors or something um, like Teflon coated and then snip into each line to each section and then that will give you um, the ability to bend it that way. It won't do that unless you cut it. So glue might be the easiest thing here for doing that. Okay, that is the first one down. Expect to get a little bit of glue 
coming out onto your mat as well. Um, which way are we doing this? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go around. Nope, that's the wrong way. There we go. We're going to go around that way. Okay, so I'm going to speed this up in a moment, but again, if you're ever confused about which way that way or whichever way, do a quick dry run first. Okay, so I've got that done. Let's have a quick look from the outside. Make sure we've got all of these flaps down. There we go. Okay, so I can now secure these pieces here. Just adding my glue just to the outside there. And again, if it's conical, slightly that will make it slightly easier to get the lid on to the base as well Okay, so that's the main structure of that done. Okay, so I now have another four here ready to go. One, two, three, and four. So we need to cover these up, so use the exact same ones here. Just go over and cover up those tabs. Just gonna move over to uh, some Beacon 3 and one here, which is very similar to the Fabric Tack. I'm just using this because I have more of that in here than I have in this little bottle there. If I can get the lid off. Okay, now that is feeling a lot more sturdy. I'm not done there doing the covers. So here I have my paper. Just grabbing the paper pad here to show you. It's from Contemporary Christmas. It's an eight by eight. And what I've done is I've die cut these out in the direction they're, they're supposed to go. So I have put the die on the paper and I've cut it out in that orientation so that all of my patterns are standing up the right way round. See that one that goes here, this one goes there, we got this one here, and then we have that one there. So let's get those 
popped down. Okay, this is huge. This is my lid. There we go. That's going to be a lot of fun to open. Okay, so let's do the same now. I'm looking for my lid for this. Right, so let's make the base. We're going to do it slightly differently, but the same sort of thing. Let's move that aside. That was a bit heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Right, so we're going to repeat ourselves now. Let's make our circle from this, and then I'll be back to do the sides. Okay, I am a slightly off there. It's because I'm sitting down doing this. I normally craft standing up, but I'm having a better time today sitting down. I'm just having one of those days. So I'm just going to add my glue just to the underside here. And gluing it down that way. Okay. Oh, I am a bit warped. Let's fix that. There we go. Okay, because I am a little bit off, I am going to trim it just very slightly. It might be a bit of a funny shape here, but the, the side tabs should be able to compensate for that. So I'm just going to trim that bit off. There we go. Yeah, let's get this popped in as well. Right, so for the base, as I said before, all of this needs to fit onto the lid no, that the lid needs to fit onto the base properly so these walls need to be slightly in so we're going to be working along the inside of this and the inside of this so it's going to fit so I've got my tape now and that is on the outside part it's on the the good side so this is the inside this is the outside part that's where I've popped my tape and I'm going to just turn this over because we're working on the base there so all we're going to do is I'm going to try and get the angle right so that I can put it on nicely and so that you can kind of see what I'm doing at the same time so I'm just going to start off actually I'll probably start on one of these lines here there we go and I'm just going to feed this around I'm going to use my thumb here as a guide so that it doesn't go off the edge and that is actually working very well there we go that is on. There we are. Do the next one. This is bending over. There we go. And I'm just going to secure all the side pieces, like these little end pieces there. I'm just going to go around and secure all those after I've put everything down. I think that's just going to be the easiest way. Okay, so let's start again. Just making sure that the teeth are lined up and then I'm just going to use my thumb again just as a guide to stop it from going over the edge and that is actually creating a very neat a very neat line there we go give that a press okay so repeat the same on the other two then we'll just add some glue here just on the insides and i'll give you a little trick once we get to that point as well
Okay, so it now <clears throat> should look like that. It's looking good. Right, so grab your glue again. Now I do love the Cosmic Shimmer because it does dry pretty fast. So I'm just gonna add glue just to this tab there. And then the trick is, my extra tip there, is to kind of fold it so that it does kind of cone inwards. So instead of having it slanting out like that, I'd like to kind of fold it in, not so it's so obvious that it's like folded in like that, that would look a bit silly. But if we could actually go in and just push it in that extra little bit, just gone past where it's straight. I'm hoping this makes sense. And that will really help the lid um, move over that. Okay, so just for ease of use, <clears throat> I am going to demonstrate how to do the red tape with the inside of this. I was thinking that's going to be so much easier. For this one, it's easy to do the glue, but for this way around, it's uh, not. So we're going to add some red tape now to the outside bit. So we're doing exactly the same thing as what we did with these wall pieces here for the base. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just giving those a good pressing down. This will really help the adhesive to go right into the fibres of the card. Okay, moving back to this one now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take off the backing. Now as you can see, this needs this needs to stretch round that way and I'm having a bit of trouble getting that to bend. So just take your scissors. If you use ordinary scissors, they might gunk up. I keep forgetting to put the lid on that. Well, not the lid, but the pin. Okay, so take something that's Teflon coated or non-stick. Now these Tim Holtz ones are pretty good for that. And just, just snip into um, each slot. There we go. <clears throat> and now it bends like that. I don't know what's going on with the lighting. That's much better. Okay, so I had that the wrong way around, so just push them the other way. And then you simply just attach them along the inside rim. Make sure you have good lighting so that you can see where you're putting it. And as you can see, uh, it should look like that. Okay, now repeat it again for the rest of them. Okay, so that is the the base done. Okay, so to get the lid on, all you have to do is just get the center one lined up first and get that in the middle and then the rest should follow suit. And there we have our box. So now there are loads of different ways that you can decorate this. I will probably be adding the big bow on here. This is a lovely one. I won't be putting the 
butterfly section on but I will be using the rest on that that's gonna look really nice there probably maybe I might even go for one of these colors here the teal take some colors from there and add it to the accents that you put on and again you get all of the other dyes as well for decorating now this one here is a divider so when we open this up you can actually pop in dividers for your sections you can use more of the mats here to cover up the the tabs there or you can literally just use paper um, stuffing so just like the shredding here that I've popped in my uh, advent calendar so there are so many different ways that you can pop your treats in here it doesn't even have to be chocolate it can be anything all right so um, everything that i've used today will be listed down below give me a thumbs up if you like this one you can subscribe in the corner there just by clicking the icon and i'll see you again next time